This isn't just theory. Muon imaging has already been used with jaw-dropping results. In Egypt, detectors placed in the Great Pyramid revealed a massive hidden void no one knew was there. Suddenly, the ancient world had to be re-examined. Now, the same technology has come to Jerusalem, focused on one of the holiest and most contested sites on Earth. Imagine the tension. Physicists setting up sensitive detectors, archaeologists watching eagerly, and theologians holding their breath, because any discovery here has world-shaping implications. At the center of the current project is something called Jeremiah's cistern. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 38, we read how the prophet was lowered into a muddy cistern and left to die until ebed melech the Cushite rescued him with ropes and rags. That cistern has long been a matter of tradition and speculation in Jerusalem. Is the structure archaeologists point to today really the one Jeremiah was thrown into? Or is the real one still hidden beneath the ground? Until now, there was no way to be sure without tearing apart layers of precious history. But with muon imaging, that might finally change. Here's where it gets exciting. Early results from the detectors have suggested anomalies, shapes that don't match the known tunnels and water channels. In plain language, there may be hidden chambers beneath the city of David. Think about that. Chambers sealed since the days of the kings, possibly holding inscriptions, vessels, or even records tied to the first temple period. 